सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर टूटोरियल सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट लूप एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर सी गाइज दैट्स माई लाइक अ कैंडी इफेक्ट राइट ओके सो गाइज नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन एंड गाइज नाउ आई शो यू माई टैक्शर सो क्लिक ऑन हेयर सी गाइज दैट्स माई ब्यूटिफुल कंपोजिशन एंड ब्यूटिफुल मैटीरियल सो गाइज गो टू ऑन फाइल एंड आई क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट चेक so guys select all and press delete key so first of all guys i'm going to take a plane and plane size increase like a 20 all 20 20 check yes so next one guys this time i take cube this one cube check and guys i increase size so like a 1.5 and 1.5 and guys height decrease like a 0.1 yeah right okay so now guys i create bevel effect create smoothness so wireframe check here wireframe check and guys go to on here and i apply this time bevel and guys segments i like 5 and amount change decrease like a 0.03 yeah and go to on object and guys see that's my apply and all transform check yes good See guys, that's my flow, right? And guys, amount little bit change, like a zero point zero two. Good. Okay, so guys, next one I apply jar. So guys, this time for jar I use Blender Kit add-on. Guys, don't worry, it's free. So type jar and enter. See guys, that's my different different style of jars. So, but guys, this time I like this one. This is fit for my work. So guys, click. That's it. and guys see that's my layer so rename like a jar and guys select your jar model and increase size see guys that's my scale size scale size i like random like a 18 18 18 yeah right see guys that's my size and guys now delete your cap delete cap so guys rename like a jar model yes good Okay so now guys this time i increase smoothness so guys select this jar and guys see that's my subdivision subdivision i like 2 and 2 and increase little bit thickness so guys this time i like here solidify for thickness and check okay so guys go to on here offset modifier actually this one solidify and offset i like 1 and guys surface thickness change like a 0.001 yes good see guys that's my thickness right and guys now select this model and up so position up like this like a 0.1 is good yes right see guys that's my model and guys now next one i create parenting so guys select this cube and go to on layer this one collection so guys select your jar and select this plane and press control p parent so object keep transform check yes so guys select this plane and see guys that's my setting parenting okay so guys now i create duplicate so guys select this cube and right click this cube select hierarchy and press shift d for duplicate enter so guys go to on here like this see guys that's my location so guys location x 4 meter and again select this one mid one so right click select hierarchy and shift d enter so guys go to on back and this time location minus 4 so guys next one select this one and right click hierarchy shift d enter so go to on back and this time guys location minus 8 meter and one more time last time shift d and guys location like this yeah see guys that's my simple shape right okay so guys now i take this time camera so guys camera like this and guys this time camera location i like 5 so guys go to on camera and press 0 for camera and location i like 5 Enter and y axis minus five and z one five yes right see guys that's my camera angle 
and also rotation change so guys i create looping animation so guys this time 45 0 and 45 yes 45 enter okay so guys this time this one location increase like this like a uh, 8 is good for me yeah good and also guys i create this time vertical animation so guys go to on here and see guys that's my resolution and change guys axis like a uh, 1080 and y axis 1920 enter yes see guys that's my vertical effect right okay so guys now next one I quit animation so guys this time use this one empty and plane axis check so guys go to on here jar so guys select all model this one select all cube this one all and guys holding shift key shift and simple drag and drop on empty object see guys, that's my empty object right this one yes good okay so guys select this empty object and guys location check on zero frame actually this one's good and now guys go to like a hundred frame and location check okay so guys go to like a 140 and location i like four yes and check yes so guys go to back and play and after 100 frames it's moving yes good okay so guys now frame i like 141 enter and guys now next one i create candy effect like a particle so guys i create new collection like a candy yeah and the guys this time i use uv actually spare uv spare and change guys this time radius I like 0 0.1 enter and go to an up like this yeah see guys that's my uv sphere and guys now right click shade smoother so guys press 7 so guys this time i equate this time use here array and guys factor increase like a 0 0.3 and count increase yeah right okay so guys go to on here yes and mid and now guys i take more array so guys factor change y axis like a 1.3 and guys count i like three and little bit down yes so guys this time i create height so press one yeah that's my spare and again i like array so guys factor z1 like a 1.5 and guys go to on count count like a 60 see guys that's my count guys you can increase more count is dependent on your object okay so guys press one and guys all is good so guys count little bit more like a 65 is good 65 yes and guys next one apply all array apply apply and apply guys i create individually object so guys go to on object and use edit mode select edit mode and select all so guys press p and lose part check yes and object so guys i change axis see guys that's my axis on here so guys create on mid so go to an object axis so origin to geometry check yes see guys that's my axis on mid okay so guys now next one i apply rigid body tag so guys select this one spare top spare and rigid body and go to on here shape i like spherical spherical check and guys now next one select all holding shift key so select all and object so guys i apply rigid body tag and copy from active check yes that's it guys okay so guys now i apply this time collision effect on this one and guys rigid body check so active i like passive and animation check because i create animation so guys shape i like mesh yeah okay so guys now go to on here bake and rigid body so guys catch a and bake all dynamic check 
See guys, that's my baking. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. Now press zero. And guys, okay, so guys, little bit up. So delete bake check. So guys, now, so right click on this candy layer. Select all object, press one. And little bit up, little bit, little bit up. Yes, good. Guys, out of camera, out of frame. And guys, again, so guys, bake all check. Okay, so guys, my final baking is finished. And guys, set your layout. So guys, play. Yeah. See guys, that's my really cool effect. Right? Yeah. Beautiful, guys. Okay, see guys, that's my final looping animation. My final looping animation, it's looking really beautiful. Guys, frame, 140 frame. And after that, that's my looping animation. Okay, so guys, my work is finished. And now, guys, I apply material. Guys, I already create material. So go to on file and append. So guys, I have material file, material check. See guys, that's my material. So select and all. So guys, select this first spare. And I apply this time ball material check and select all. And go to an object. So guys, link and link material check. Yes. So again, play. Okay. So guys, now click on here. See guys, that's my random color material. So next one, guys, I apply light, HDRI light. Environment texture check. So guys, you can apply any environment texture. I like this one. Yes. And also use area light. So guys, go to on here and use area light. Area light check up. And guys, increase power like a 200. Size, I like three. Yeah, good. So guys, press zero. And now guys, go to on cycle vendor. Device GPU check. Yes, and SAM 256, good. 256, yes, good. So guys, wireframe uncheck. So guys, next one, select this cube. And guys, I take material. So guys, I like this time, like a 0 0.9 and one and one. Yeah, guys, little bit more, like a 0 0.95. Yes, good. So guys, like a cube, yes. So guys, I apply same material. So guys, now select this one and I apply same material cube. Select this one and cube check. Yes. So guys, click on here. Okay. I apply one by one. And lastly, cube material check. Yes, that's it guys. Right. See guys, that's my material. And guys, now again, I show you my final render preview. So play, yeah, it's good. See guys, that's my really cool dynamic effect. Yes, so guys, press zero, great. Okay, so guys, my final work is finished. My looping animation, it's perfect, right? My perfect animation. And guys, now I show you my one frame render. So render and render image check. Okay, so guys, now lastly, I apply some different texture on background. So guys, close, render, and guys, press one. So now, select this plane, and little bit down, little bit, yes. So guys, again, Blender kit add-on. So guys, select this one, and type like a white, enter, and guys, see that's my different, different white material. So I like this one. That's my white gradient material. So guys, select this plane and click. Yes, see guys, that's my beautiful texture. So now, guys, this time go to one shading, press camera. So I change this time scale size. See guys, that's my scaling. Like a 2.5, I like three. Three, scaling three, yes, perfect. So again, I show you my render. So render and render image check. Okay, so guys, my final render is finished. And see guys, that's my work. Okay, so guys, now I changed little bit thing. This one, glass IOR and guys, ball material. So guys, select this glass IOR. So shading. So guys, see that's my glass material, this one. And guys, closer. See guys, that's my IOR. Like a 
1.35 yeah and again i show you my render render image check yes see guys that's my beautiful render it's looking really beautiful okay so guys lastly close and guys now go to on here layout so guys go to on candy select your first material and go to on here roughness little bit change like a 0.35 yeah that's it guys so guys my work is finished and guys frame rate i like 30 so guys output and create new folder and take any file name except check so guys go to on here first frame and render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you